Now, some mega projects are harder to spot than others. Right now, Adelaide is being connected to the world via an advanced subsea cable. Two years in the planning, it's a scheme to create a great southern route which brings the data of billions of people from Asia and the Middle East into Perth, then under Australia, keeping it far away from potential enemies. Under the ocean, Australia's newest and biggest fibre optic cable is pushed through a drilling machine near Adelaide's shoreline. Winched out, cable head is out of the it's connected to the city's land-based network, the $400 million project, which requires a French ship to lay the cable in some of our deepest water, is known as SMAP. It stands for Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth. So basically what we're doing is building a cable that connects the Pacific Ocean effectively, the Indian Ocean, but also connecting the capital cities in between. Having listed five ASX companies, Bevan Slattery is the ultimate cable guy. He owns or has serious investment in two other international cables which connect the Middle East and Asia with Perth on our west coast. There's a big change I could see coming about five years ago where Australia had a big role to play in the Indo-Pacific and having Western Australia and Perth as a gateway for that then also then, then makes this what we call the Great Southern Route. SMAP is a subsea super highway, 90% faster than satellites. It will take information from the east coast to Perth where our data will be routed to the world through Bevan's other deep sea cables. Perth's location in the Indian Ocean is seeing it emerge as one of the world's key hubs for safe internet traffic. It's got incredible deep water, it's got great secure access. The world's information routed back through us where it can be sent on through existing undersea cables to the globe. The tech expert believes it will give billions of people the ability to avoid broken, choked or worse, compromised cables. This is about Australia having a much larger role within 4 billion people that are within 100 milliseconds of where we are. SMAP will be 5,000 kilometres long. It's made up of 16 fibre optic pairs, able to produce speeds of 400 trillion bits per second. How fast is that? Once complete, the SMAP cable will be able to download the equivalent of 50,000 Netflix movies every second. Its huge size is intended for artificial intelligence and the transfer of data to back up storage clouds. In a world where fractions of a second matter, it's a reminder that those who control real-time data have a very real advantage. Dr Fitriani Fitriani is a data expert who sees huge business and defence advantages. It means that Australia will not be dependent to uh, foreign infrastructure. We are able to secure the information and who get the information first will get the first advantage. China was recently accused of spying on our undersea infrastructure. Lines have been cut in the Baltic Sea and around Taiwan, with many cables running through the South China Sea Drama seems a certainty. A Chinese flag vessel will need to do repairs in the South China Sea. And, and I think if you're looking for trusted secure connectivity, that's something that I think the rest of the world's now figuring out. SMAP will operate more than 4,000 metres down. It must be hard to lay. Uh, it's actually crazy easy to lay at those depths. We don't have to spend as much time and effort worrying about, um, about anchors and fishing. It raises the question perhaps of why not satellites? Satellites just can't deliver the amount of bandwidth we're talking about. A little spoken about risk has been the need for the company to disclose where its cables run and connect to in our cities. It puts that subsea cable at risk for sabotage and tampering. I think right now the world's now figuring this out. SMAP will be online in March. You might not notice a change in your internet speed, but that could be because it's doing its job when something else has failed. Jonathan Lee, Sky News.